I'm going to be giving a quick review on GarageBand and some of the things that we've learned and a few new things. First of all, when you open up GarageBand, you can have a new track and you can just choose piano as default. So I'll go ahead and click that. Uh, this is where you can choose like your temperature, your signature, uh, the key that it, it majors in. Uh, so you're just going to hit create. And then in GarageBand at the bottom here, you'll see measure. So this shows you the part of this uh, measure and your measure is listed here that you can go to. It also shows your time if you want to change your top to time. So now it's 5 seconds and 10 seconds instead of the measure. And you can also change it to the chord that is being used and also the project. And the project it shows a tempo that you can change along with the signature and key. Uh, so first of all, track and icon name. Uh, the track name is right here. Let's say this isn't Grand Piano. Let's say I'm going to do a scratch. So what I'm going to do is double click on the icon and in the bottom right I'm going to change this icon and I'm going to choose scratch. Now for the name I'm going to control click and I'm going to call this scratch. So we just completed that part. So that part's done. Uh, track control bar. Let me go over this for a minute. Um, here's your different tools that you're going to be using. If you're going to be recording, you can disable it. And this is enable if you want to record a new track here. Uh, this is if you want to uh, have the sound on or mute. And this is solo. If you want to go solo and lock and then track volume. So uh, let's go ahead and make a new track so I can show you how to use the volume. I'm going to use real instrument. And I'm going to record. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Heil. And the spacebar stops my recording. And to play back, spacebar, this is Mr. Heil. And that's my recording. Now, what I can do uh, for my track volume, if I want to mute it, notice it goes gray. That means it's mute. I can lock it, cannot edit. Notice I'm clicking, it's unreachable. Uh, the track volume, if I click here, it's my volume. If I wanted to start high volume and then lower the volume, you can change uh, these the dB of it. So this is going to start high and go low, and then it's going to go back high. So if I play this, hello, this is Mr. Heil, and then there's my volume. Um, you can also adjust the volume here. I want to bring down the volume. But that's my track volume. And my left and right, if I change this all the way to the right, it'll only be heard in my right speaker. And this will be my left speaker. So uh, I just went over all of that. Although, let me go over the audio regions for a minute. Uh, your audio regions are down here. So let's go ahead and click on the scissor. And it'll bring up your audio regions. Now. For your audio regions, if you want to uh, quicken the pitch, now I sound like a chipmunk, or I can make it really low. Okay, so that's my pitch. You can also enhance the tuning if you'd like to this is Mr. get what you need. Uh, the other part I want to show you is if we have a scratch. Okay, let's go ahead and get our scratch. Um, it's a software instrument, okay? And what I'm going to do is change my view, the eye view. And I'm going to go down to vinyl. And then I have these different scratches I can work with. I'm going to work with scratch six. I'm going to click and drag the scratch. Notice it's only one second and it stops. In order to loop it, you can top right corner, it'll show this for the loop. And you can just drag out and loop this, okay? So it'll just keep um, looping like that. Um, let's say I want to trim out something. Hello, this is Mr. Heil. Okay, uh, let's say I want to trim out some of my voice. Let's say I just want to trim out... This is Mr. Heil. This is. I want to trim out this is Mr. Heil. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit Command T to trim uh, the track. This is Mr. Heil. This is Mr. Heil. This is Mr. And I'm going to hit Command T. 
You notice I trim that. I can click on the middle part. Make sure you deselect and then select that part. And you can delete and I can drag them together. And then I play it. Hello, Mr. Heil. So it just says, hello, Mr. Heil. So that's how you can uh, edit and take out uh, parts. Okay, so we did the track basics. Uh, let me show you some music typing. Uh, I just did track extend loops. Um, let's say I wanted this is back. What if I want that back? All you have to do is um, move it up and you'll see the little arrow. Just extend it out and then this is Mr. The original is back in its place. So you can do that as well. Okay. To the original. Uh, so I recorded vocals. Uh, let's show you th some different effects and settings that you can do for your voice. I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to go back to what I originally had and get a little echo effect. Um, on the right side, okay. So if you go to edit, so I'm click. I clicked on this track. I go into edit. These is this is what's going on. Well, nothing's going on right now. If you want the noise gate, you need to select it. If you need the compressor, you select it. If you want a new effect, you select it. I'm going to choose track echo, and with this track echo, this is where the settings are for the echo. So I'm going to have a pretty big echo, close to a hundred. So now when I play it, hello, 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 this is 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 actually an annoying echo uh, that is in my track right now. So this is where you can add a uh, whole different kinds of um, echoes and down here is where you can uh, modify those 